all know Tammy loves to smell things. Scent. Can you smell it? Mm -mm. No, it's all gone. Mm -mm. No, my sniffies. My sniffer works well, and I didn't smell anything. Your what? Does it smell like dookie or what? No, it's just a very, like, almost like a bitter smell. Oh, okay. You've never killed a sink bug? I've never even, no, no, I have not. Neither have I. I've killed an ant that Welcome to Louisiana. That before. Like the little pea ants, they stink. The what? Well, I can't say the word, I'm alive, but the pea ants. What is a pea ant? It's a... A sugar ant? It, it rhymes with hiss, but it's a pea ant. And you, if you kill it, it smells really, really nasty. What is it, Tammy? It's a pea ant. A pea ant? Yep. I've never heard of this. Oh, yeah. They're the ones that stink like ink. They smell that like ballpoint. Stink point. like what? They smell like ballpoint ink. Really strongly. <gasps> You're using this. The smell? Yeah. Um, You're supposed to be able to hear me. I am. I'm going to help you. The smell Come of the pink bug is a mixture between cilantro and coriander. I love cilantro, so that makes me really. That's really weird. Really what? It's a little weird because I don't know that I would want something. I love cilantro. Y'all. Like Our friend has throw, issues. Burnt tires. Burnt tires? In cilantro? No. I don't know what kind of cilantro y'all eat. Yeah, that's weird. No, I love the smell of cilantro. I love cilantro. There was a cilantro and mint candle out somewhere. This is more what I was thinking, a peppery odor. Oh. Like a bitter, like. You said that too. You said but it was they, they, another, another one. Peppery odor similar to coriander or cilantro. I'm not outside often enough, y'all. Okay. <laughs> That's interesting. Someone says the Taco Bell app has Mexican yeah. pizza today and tomorrow. I took a screenshot and I don't know if I said it. You did, but you told me I wasn't allowed to go, so why was I even going to bring it up? It's in the app. You just ordered on the app and it's making us money. We could do that. She's trying to get one right now. No, I'm full from dinner. We could do that. It's only 9 o'clock, though. So. We might need a second dinner. <laughs> we might need a snack. Oh, man, we've missed the Mexican pizza. I've never had the Mexican pizza, oh but I will gosh. I will go for a crunch so of cream. Oh, it has a lot of tomatoes on it. I don't feel like that. Yeah, you probably Oh, no. No, no. no. so good. That's though. an abort mission one star. But it's not fresh command. tomatoes. They're fire roast. They're I don't so care. It's tomatoes. It's nasty. They're so yummy. No. Uh -huh. no. So I'm, I'm going to use tomato. the Sweet Freedom Popsicle. Who is the person that made this? I think Tracy Gibson. Yes. That yes. Okay, so Tracy. I don't know her business name. Gave us. Print cut craft. What? Print cut craft. Print cut craft. Say that three times fast. That's so we have a whole thing. tutorial for a bunch of different projects. That's right. In our um, backyard barbecue workshop, which is this one, the popsicle I made earlier, which was the watermelon one, and then this pink one. Which. Jordan told everybody today Damon was going to make something with yeah. it. Yeah. I want Damon make something with this. In this. Is that? Yeah. Look how cute that guitar is. I love it. It's the best. It's so cute. So you get that as a bonus. You get the popsicles as a bonus for she the was workshop. Like, oh, can auction it off. Nope. Pretty sure that's staying <laughs> right here, friends. Guess I'll be making a donation. I love it. Oh, someone already said that they got two pizzas tonight and they weren't as good as they used to be. What? What'd they do different? They're probably fresh. I'm telling you, I've never had this Taco Bell pizza. Nice haircut. It's not a real pizza. Uh, what's the taco that's on the flat shell? Tostita. So imagine a, a double tostada? tostita, that thing. <laughs> tostada. She said tostita. That's tostita. A ship. That's a company. <laughs> it's a brand. Tostada. <laughs> so it's like that, but there's a flat one, then the toppings, another one on top, and then more toppings. Oh, no. So it's not pizza at all. It's really just a flat taco. It's so good. Mm. <clears throat> so what you taco doing? Taco has a vegetable Mexican pizza. That's what's wrong with it. Yuck. Is it just beans? That sounds like a whole bad case of gas to me. 
That sounds like not the place to do whenever one of your bathrooms don't have a door. <laughs> Y'all, how bad is this? Okay, we've been in this house since 2017, and I did not know that one of the bathrooms didn't have a door on it. Yeah, mine. Yeah. Mine doesn't. So upstairs, y'all, is a Jack and Jill bathroom, so each bedroom has their own sink and toilet and then a shower that they share, and evidently, one of the Jack and Jill bathrooms doesn't have a door to the bedroom. Thank God mine, my side does. And I didn't, well, I guess I knew it. I just didn't, like, think about it until the yep. sisters shared the room. We share everything. What do they do when they <sighs> have a bathroom door? Lord. How can we get one of those guitars? Uh, you have to make it, Beth. I'm, like, I'm pre-cutting some of my stuff, y'all, which is the ruffles for the outer ring, and these are 30 inches. Hey, Bonita. And what's up with your mask? Oh my gosh, it's been forever since I've seen Bernita's name. I see it in business coaching all the time. I don't. I don't. It's a new generation making Mexican pizza. That's why they put vegetables in it. It's really nice to see you all together. I know, y'all. Fancy's taking care of babies tonight. She'll be with us tomorrow. Mel is probably crying in a corner because she has to leave her babies tomorrow. It's true. She probably is. Verica is probably celebrating leaving her babies tomorrow. <laughs> you Jordan are not. has on. no babies, so we're good. <laughs> My grandbabies tried to get me to blow her hot dog that was too hot through the phone while ago. She is crying in the corner. She was like, Nana, hot, hot. And I was like, baby, I can't blow it. It was terribly sad for me. So I was yelling, Finn, help her and blow on the hot dog. It was sad. She didn't understand how I couldn't blow her hot dog through the phone. Make it cool down. So these are my inner ring ruffles, and these are 18 inches. 18? Yes. How long are the outside ones? 30. 30. 30. Hey, Sandy. Hello, gang from Texas. Hey. Y'all, was it as hot in Texas today that was here? It was 87 degrees a while ago after the sun went down here in Parker's car. And I was like, is that right? Because that's really hot still. And you add humidity, too. Mm -hmm. He's hot. He's really hot. I had to change my shorts. He really did. I really did. He, really, he goes, these are too heavy. Tacky shorts. I was like, I'm like, I'm going next door. You just do what you need to do. I am using a pre-made work wreath for. Tammy, you know, everyone always make? asks. Jordan is making this patriotic wreath. I'm going to help him in whatever way he needs, which usually means commentary. Yep. Read, read that. That's what I'm doing. Kathy, I was real sad that you had already left today. I was like, Kathy and Ernie aren't here anymore. I know. They bailed out yesterday. Like, peace out. What's on the schedule for the backyard barbecue tomorrow? A lot of people are asking. Tomorrow is Wednesday, right? Yes. yes. So tomorrow we're doing the balloon garland. And that's it on the schedule for tomorrow. And that's a full schedule. Like for tomorrow. Yeah. The balloon guy the balloon guy is Marcus Gandy, who is our one of our creative balloon he's our balloon artist in the creative coaching. And yeah. when you do a balloon garland, it's very time consuming and one life for that is plenty for tomorrow. So he's by himself tomorrow. Yeah, but I don't think we're doing a garland. We're doing something no, we're not doing a balloon doing garland. something yeah. different and new. Oh, Jordan, by the way, I have to show you what y'all are going to do for the oh, next challenge. I, I mentioned it to him today, but I didn't. I, I said I need a picture. We're I'm going to need a picture of this. It's, it's so pretty. I can't wait until he sees it. I'm pretty sure I took it. Y'all know how this there. usually works out, right? It'll be good. I feel It'll like be I've good. been down this road before, y'all. <laughs> no, I have no. not straight It'll be away good. From this. Look. Oh, that's <laughs> See? I oh, knew. Oh, I did pretty. not mean to yell. Guys, I So didn't we'll mean get to yell. him to make this piece. And then me do the other piece. Uh-huh. But it doesn't have to be even like I mean this is pretty, but Oh you shouldn't have shown me that picture. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Isn't that pretty? It is pretty. It's y'all, gorgeous. It's, it's really super pretty. pretty. He showed me and I'm like, yes, we it's are doing really that. Pretty. I'm like, yep, yep, yep. And the great words of no, it's super stinking cute. 
If we could find this stuff for tomorrow to make this happen, we would, but... We probably cannot. No. Um... You just bought your ticket for the uh, barbecue? Awesome. Do you, know, do you know who I am? <laughs> we'll make it work. It'll happen. Yeah. I told you, Michael, even if we have to do writing, we can figure that out. Like, we can do cricket. We've got, we can do whatever we need to do. That make is the least part yeah. that I was about trying to find. <laughs> yeah, literally, that's the easiest thing about all of it. It's beautiful, though. It is pretty. Y'all, my poofs are 10 inches. I am using 10 inch mesh on the inner ring. Yeah, I only put it on the inner ring. And the other day, someone actually was kind of got mad at me. They're like, that's a waste of mesh. But for me, it's kind of like a support system because my ruffles never worked out for me by themselves. Yes, we are still approving people in the barbecue group. Yes. If you are wanting to join the barbecue, I will tell you that our customer service leaves at 4 o'clock every day. So you're going to want to, if you're waiting to be approved, don't worry, you'll be approved. You just have to get in there and sign up, which is where can they go, Jordan, to sign up? Backyardbbqworkshop.com. Yes. And if you're in creative coaching, you need to go to the Makers University. Go to the tab that says creative. Click on it and go all the way down, and you're going to see the Backyard Barbecue Workshop in there. So that way you get your discount if you're already in creative coaching. And if it doesn't reflect the discount, please email info at mm -hmm. That way they can figure out why your um, account isn't showing the discount. Hey, Carrie Gustafson. Is this fabric mesh? I have no idea. It came from Damon's stash. It's not. No, this is the jute. Ooh, which I love. And this is the, I remember this one said value. Value. Value metallic, yep. It's still a good value mesh. Yeah. So I that, use that used all the time. to be light foil. Yep. I use that all the time. Then it got demoted. Yeah. So demoted. Now. That's a great way to put that. It got demoted. But look how, I love how pretty that looks. The metallic stripe. Oh, sorry, sorry. I'll move. Are you yelling at people? Yeah. They're like, you're right next to the microphone. Don't. You know how I just got to yell at people. Got to yell. Always. I'm screaming. She's just like her sister. Screaming, screaming. Just like her sister. You're just going to leave that alone. <sighs> <sighs> Melissa is going to get you when she gets here. Oh, we weren't talking about Melissa. <laughs> we were talking about you. Screamer. Screamer. Yo, I'm approving some people right now. Just leave it at that because that conversation will go south real yeah, quick. Real quick. <laughs> Do you know who our friend is? And we're here in person, so we can really pick on you now. Oh, so what, what did we? Outside? We went to Desi's. Three stars. Yeah, something happened. My burger was still good. So. Mine was not good. Four, four and a half. Mine was actually all good. I didn't finish it. Though. See, I knew when I got there, I was like. And I'm like, okay, I'll get a burger. I wish you had shared that information around the table. However, we'll be back. We're always back. That's literally the first time in years that it's been not great. No, I'm putting the 30 inch ruffles on the outer ring. I always start on the outer ring when I do the ruffles, and then I'll come back onto the inner ring. So the 30 inch ruffles go on the outer ring, and the 8 Truffles go on the inner ring. There was 180 pending people. Ooh. And I approved some this morning. Don't start laughing, Jordan. You know you can't stop. Is this going to be an online depends, workshop? It depends is. On it's who a virtual makes me laugh. workshop. Yes, y'all. It's virtual. You don't even have to leave your house. I mean, usually backyard barbecues, that means it's going to be hot. You can sit in your living room under the air conditioner, get your husband to make you a margarita, just sit there. That sounds even better. What, the margarita? Yes. Does sound I had a frozen margarita the other day and it was delicious. Just saying. I had a real fun time at dinner. Hey, Connie. I was actually supposed to have a layover in Houston this morning, but we switched it to Austin. I was like, dang it. 
get my margarita. You were going to Papacitos. <laughs> I was going to go to Papacitos and get me a margarita. I knew where you were going. At 7 o'clock in the morning. Heck yes, you were. <laughs> the best place ever. Hey, Linda Spearman. Linda Spearman. Hey, Linda. Linda, have you started decorating for Halloween yet? Oh, my gosh. One day I just want no, to show No, she's trying to plant geraniums, y'all. I have... I have faux ger geraniums I'd send you. Everybody has, you can get faux geraniums anywhere, but you want the real ones, I know you do. She has the prettiest front porch. Thanks. I've seen her front porch, I haven't seen yours. I've seen little pictures of yours. Thanks. She has these, this giant southern columns in her front porch. She does have a pretty uh, front porch. I keep telling her I'm gonna show up and have sweet tea with her one day. Oh, did she? Mm -hmm. I didn't see the rest. Oh my gosh. I've missed a lot this month. I, I wonder why. most of the month. May was kind of my, I'm traveling all month. It's those pills that she takes while she travels. Those are amazing. I wasn't even nervous. Well, you were nervous when they uh, said the Jamie said she has a whole pitcher of strawberry margaritas just waiting in the freezer for tomorrow. Ooh, wait. Alcoholic or not alcoholic? Brooke said she just joined us. Awesome. Derica, are you on your way yet? Is there Derica, a schedule for Friday and Saturday? Today. Uh, Maureen, there's a whole schedule posted in the group and a calendar that you can download to your phone. Yes, Tony. 10 inch mesh um, on the inner ring, 10 inch poofs. 30 inch ruffles on the outer ring, and then 18 inch ruffles on the inner ring. So y'all, that's my base. Looks good. Nice and full. Y'all know I like my wreaths nice and full. Is there a schedule for Friday and Saturday? It's in the group. Katrina said uh, she bought more faux geraniums for her porch. Mom said you did good on the flight. Kathy, they stuck you next to Tammy. Nope. But I let everybody around me kind of know I'm along with them. In case something happened to me, I was ready to tell anybody that asked. Oh, I didn't tell y'all. Talking to strangers. I would have. I'd have been like, those are my parents. <laughs> Why? Why are we friends with these people? They talk to strangers. Let me tell you what she did on her I was life. with Ernie We're and gonna Craig. We're going to get God. I was with Ernie and Craig. We talked to strangers. Craig no. brought people in the house. Craig brought a stranger from the beach. In the house? In the house. <laughs> Just like him, Francis. <gasps> Legit. Brought somebody in the Y'all are joking, right? <laughs> no, I didn't know it. <laughs> he freaked oh. Okay, but that's not the best part of the trip. Oh, Tammy made a friend on the first flight who wanted to hold her hand. He did. He did. And his wife was sitting behind us. They were on their way to their honeymoon. Why didn't you swap seats with them? I, he didn't ask it. I wouldn't give it up. Oh, no. She was on the aisle. I wouldn't give it up my window seat. Nope. You don't add an element of surprise into my problem flight. Mm -hmm. No, no. Jesus. They should have chosen it. They could have paid for their seat just like I did. Sorry about you. Sorry about you. Yeah, I did pre-cut my ribbon tails are 13 inches. And I chose three two and a half inch ribbons and three one and a half inch ribbons. Some of these right. I got from his stash. I got through like a hundred and ten. I'll need my computer for the rest of them. Derek says I should just drive overnight. Come on! You yeah. can have breakfast in the morning. Yeah, we're gonna be here just that. in time for breakfast. Isn't it just a couple hours? She actually you like driving at night, didn't you say that one time? Jacqueline Cook's here. Well, not here yet, but she will be here tomorrow. She's here in the on the page. She's here virtually. Is she here? I don't she see is. her yet. Yep, look. She said, hey, hey, fam. Damon, do you have a link you can drop for the BBQ? I can try. Kathleen Jack, are you on here? She's her, she's her link dropper usually. I can try too. I don't know. I can do it. Now, like I said, these were 13 inches. 13 inches is really my go-to length for ribbon tails. Glad you followed that up with something. Parish coffee will Damn. wake her up. <laughs> yes, it will, my friend. Oh, Lord. What? I'll take it anywhere. What do you say? You didn't know, like, 
13 inches is my go-to length. Or ribbon tail, and he's like, glad you follow that up with something. I take my friends nowhere, no. I'm going back home. That's a lie. That's a doggone <laughs> lie. No, because if I go back home, that means I have to cut up the phone pieces on my reading. Oh, you're right. Stay here. Yeah. You get fed, and it's good time. Yeah. My plane ride was amazing. My last three flights have been amazing. Partly because I can't remember them. <laughs> but it's all good. They were great. I can't tell you if they were bumpy or not. I don't care. I don't remember it. So. What size was your work read? The, what do you call them, Tammy? The OAD? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Leave me alone. It's a 15 inch tinsel frame. You Which, can get the wreath frame from Deco Exchange. This is a 15 inch frame. It's XX749524. He, uh, so he's got two and a half inch and one and a half inch ribbon tails. Yes. Now I'm grouping them all together. I love, I love these, especially during Patreonic and Christmas. The tinsel ones are my favorite to use. Don't you like all the OAD? What is the price for the workshop for members of the creative coaching group? I logged in and it looks a little funny. You're going to get a discount of half off Katrina. So you'll see it. It'll say one price. And then when you, you must be logged in, you can't just go to Makers University and expect it to say you've got to be logged in. But your price is going to be, can I tell them the price? Yeah. Your price is 50% off. So you will be paying $20. Katrina, make sure you click on creative. So if you just log in and scroll down, it's not the regular, it's not your discount. You have to click on creative, then scroll down, yes. then click on the workshop. Right. My finger is fine, y'all. It's fine. He just nicked it. I need it. They're asking, what is your uh, secret for flying? Oh. <laughs> well, can I tell him? Yeah. My doctor prescribed me one Xanax per flight. So he gives me, when I, I have to show him an itinerary and he gives me one Xanax because Xanax are highly addictive and we know that. So that's what I take. I take one of the lowest dose Xanax you could take. So I literally cannot mess it up. I tell them all the time. I'm like, I get one pill. I get one shot at this. So if my flight's delayed, which it was the other day. It was so funny. It was a situation. I was like, no. We were dying. you have dying. to take it at a very specific time. I have a window of perfection. Y'all, this is what really happened. <laughs> it was bad. She I set her saying. alarm. Okay, we got in the car at 10 a.m. So she called Melissa and set an alarm. The flight was at 3.15. She set an alarm for 2.15 to take her pill. As we're like sitting down to wait, her alarm goes off. She has it in her hand like this, gulping her water, and they announce, this flight has been delayed. <laughs> she yeah. has like an hour for it to like kick in and make her real sleepy. Y'all, she had her pillow out. She was, in, she was feeling good. Wait, Did I was you like, feel any of this? No, but I was like, if you fall asleep, you're going to stay in Virginia. That's a lie. They would not have left me. Oh, yes, they would have. No, they wouldn't have. <laughs> they I did would've. fall asleep. Damon would have yeah, loved what you. what wakes me up is Craig's laughter. So every time he would laugh at somebody, I would start waking up. Craig was cracking at that you. Kathy and Ernie probably wouldn't have left you, but Damon would have left you. And like, yeah. Kathy and Ernie were like, time to play. <laughs> Craig wouldn't have left me either. They wouldn't have. Him and Miss Linda would have taken care of me. That's why I said, those are my parents. I don't know who those other two guys are. <laughs> Y'all. So we waited about an hour and 15 to 20 minutes for the flight. So she was feeling real good. I went right to sleep. Yeah, I don't think she knew who sat next to her. He, yeah, I do. He was grouchy. If you're watching, I love you because I do. But he's grouchy. He was grouchy. Immediately, all I remember him, I had my blanket, my pillow. I was already eyes closed. Pillow? And he came. Yeah, she and, brought her own blanket. I and did. Pillow. And all I remember is this did man saying. Did you bring the saying, kitchen sink? Yeah, this man said, I want this down. And did the armrest. And I thought, you can take it down. I'm in room stage three. I don't care what you do. But he just pushed that thing down. I don't know what he expected. I mean, do you think I was going to tell him no? He could have told me I could fly well, on the wing. Well, my experience this morning care. was I get to the airport and I, you know, I pack two bags, one with Ray Dunn and the other one with 
stuff for the workshop. Fun. So I had to check the one with the stuff for the workshop. And the lady literally looks at me and she's like, do you fit comfortably in those seats? Do you need a seatbelt extender? I was like, no. And yes, I fit comfortably. She's like, okay. She's like, well, I want to put you um, with an extra seat. And I'm like, for what? Like she literally- You know what, they did that to Ilana too. And Ilana said she will never fly. They took her off the plane, literally, and gave her a special sticker. That happened last time she went- Oh, I didn't get no special and sticker. she said she will never fly south. Was it Southwest? Yes. Yes. But they did it to her too. It worked to my advantage in Austin because it was a packed flight and I was like, I'm pre board. She was more I'm getting that window seat. They literally but I was made like, her get up in front I've of I've been flying for two and a half years and I've never had that happen. They never. Sh- they just did that to her. Maybe because the flights are just starting to be full again. Yeah. She was absolutely she called and she was mortified. She said they made me get up in front of everybody and I got a sticker and they, Oh, they didn't make me get up. Absolutely. I think, honestly, I think it's probably a better protocol to ask when you're checking in because it's less embarrassing. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. If they would have said well, I mean, all when, that. Well, so I was already boarding Group A, and I was like, okay, that's fine. And then she did, and then I was like, okay, well now I'm in B. But then she's like, but you're pre-board, and I was like, okay, well what the does pre-board mean? She's like, but you get on the plane first, and I was like, oh. You know what I mean? So okay. what could have happened, though, is he could have got all the way in there, gotten the seat, and not been on the buckle, and right. then that would have been, like, walk of shame. Right, right. Yeah, not me. I'd have been like... So I think it's kind of nice that they're taking a little... I mean, maybe her approach was a little rough around the edges. I was like, what? I've never been asked this question before. I mean, does it come with a seatbelt at center and an extra snack? Because then you're talking our language. Right. If you're going to feed me, then... Guys, if you're in creative <laughs> coaching different. already... And you're a current member of Creative Coaching. This message is for you because a couple of you are still asking. Go log into your Makers University portal. When you log in, you're going to see Creative at the top. It'll say Business Creative. Click on Creative. So you have to go into the Creative part. Look down, scroll down, and you're going to see the workshop at the bottom of that. That's where you're going to log in or be able to sign up because your price will be half of half price of what everybody else is. If you don't do that and you pay full price, you're on your own. There's no refunds. So I'm giving you instructions to help you out. Was it rude? I don't, y'all. I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't. So for me, I was caught off guard because I've always, usually I do check a bag and they've never asked me. In two and a half years of flying, they've never asked me. So today I was like, why are you asking me? I always I mean, it did ask. come with its perks. I mean, pre-board, yeah, that's the first nice. one's on the plane. You get to choose your seat, choose the first row, second row. So I was like, heck yeah. I mean, but I, it so was just I've been on a flight in first class. Caught me off guard. I was and like, heard like the back person yell across the plane, "Hey, we need a seatbelt center back here." And I was just thinking, oh, that's embarrassing. Oh no no no! You know what I mean? As soon so as I whenever, get on the plane, I ask. Yeah. So like, whenever I'm playing I that ask. back in my head, I'm thinking how less embarrassing that would have been if have known as soon as that person stepped on the plane they would have saw your little sticker they were like oh here you go yeah, yeah. You get to walk on by yeah i agree with that i always ask though i get on the plane and immediately ask the so flight attendant i didn't hey, get, can a I sticker? Please get a flight can i please get a flight or a flight can i please get a seatbelt extender and they always say yes or no but let me tell you what if they yell chubby lady in aisle 7f it'll be a problem <laughs> i'll be like bring me all I the alcohol right now because you just cleaners. mortified me yeah, so I was just taken aback, like, when she first asked yeah. me, and I was like, yeah, I mean, I've been flying for a while, so. I don't I've mind never, it. I've not had a problem. Gender got signed up. Awesome. Awesome. It will be good. But now the whole sticker situation, that's a different story. That's like the Scarlet Back Letter. In. That's like the Scarlet Letter. They did that. It was, I was just like, oh, she was so embarrassed. She was like, I'll pay $1,000 before I... I said, listen, just calm down. She was just being very dramatic. I bought a seatbelt extender. <gasps> you can buy them? I didn't know that. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Have you guys followed that uh, guy on TikTok who's really overweight? And every time he like hits his weight loss milestones, he like goes to Disney and 
sees if he can fit on rides. No. Like that's his whole like motivational goal was to be able to ride um. one of the Disney rides. So like they always try to go back and he gets readjusted and like try to see if he can fit in. And then like he hasn't made it yet, but every time they still celebrate because he's closer to his goal of being able to ride a ride at Disney. Oh, That's wow. really cool, though. Yeah. Really cool. I saw somebody when we were on the flights of Avatar ride. He was sitting like this, and you know it. That's the, the one that he was testing. The fitting is your calf, and if you have, I've seen small people with really big calves before, and so I fit in it. And my husband fit in it, who's six four, and the the I was sitting here. Mike was next to me, and my son-in-law was here. Right on the other side of him was a thinner guy, but he had very muscular calves that made him get off the ride. Because that I would be pissed. Those those that line is so long. It is. Get all the way two and a half hours. Get all the way to the ride. Be like, sorry, buddy, out. Yeah, and it just would not go. He's like, no, it's fine if it's tight. And they made him get off the ride. And I thought, oh my word, he just for two and a half hours. But it's all about two and a half hours. Um, no. It's all about it was the opening weekend. Heck yes, I'd do it again all day. I'm there for the food, not for the ride. But it's all about your calf. It has nothing to do with this because you're on a motorcycle thing. I'm gonna ride the teacups. (laughs) <laughs> Sarah, Sarah Williams said that she would celebrate the weight loss by not going to Disney. What? Y'all, we, no. So we took Sarah to Disney. You and then we had like our it. mastermind event in Orlando. It was too peopley. She bailed out halfway through. Well, what? when did you guys go? What month? October, maybe? Oh, yeah, probably. I if love... Megan's watching, Megan, love, we're not going to Disney anymore. I love Disney. Everyone's saying that you can just buy these seatbelt extenders on Amazon. How come we didn't know that? I didn't know that. I mean, I fit in the seatbelt fine. I mean, yeah, I don't think I would do it. Sarah, I would celebrate by not going to Disney. I don't think I would trust my life with an Amazon seatbelt extender. Here's the deal. If you need a seatbelt, period, in an airplane, let's just say we may be on our way to a dirt nap anyway, so the seatbelt's not really going to help us. I'm just dirt. saying that. No, listen, there's a difference between a bump and a... No, there's really not for me, because regardless, my heart will stop on the way down in either event. Because if they say, hang on tight, I'm out. My oxygen levels will drop. You need to go to Disney during the Food and Wine Festival. Oh, I've done that several you times. You eat around the world. Like, there's a little food kiosk mm-hmm. all around. I can do that. It's going on right now. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. It just happened. Now's the Flower Festival. No, I thought it was the Flower Festival... The Flower Festival's because in May. Because Georgia Brown was in, went to the Flower Festival. Flower Festival's in May. The food and wine was, I think, maybe in April. March or April. Okay. I'll have to look. We always go during the Flower Festival when they have the topiaries, and it's really pretty. Julie Bishop said your hair is looking good. Thank you. Everyone's Listen, laughing at Tammy. if I ever Tammy. hit my weight goals, you guys are going to see me on a zip line. I will do it live. I want to go on a zip line so bad. So bad. I mean, I must be doing something right because I've been the same waist size since I was probably eighth grade middle school. Like I haven't gone up. I mean, I haven't gone down. Yeah. But oh, Linda, you're my people. Linda says she loves all things Disney. Me too. I love all things Disney, too, except the price tag. It has gotten really, really pricey. That's for sure. The mouse is... Real proud of his stuff. Little Roy proud. just joined us. Awesome. Is some of the ribbon on the website? Uh, I know this is not. This love The that. velvet one, I the think, The velvet is. was. I used this a while ago. Uh, this one is the stripe. The RG178124 is... I pulled that earlier... There's faux burlaps in stock as well. Um, I don't know. We well, just got a lot of this back yeah, in stock, so there's the a chance. The faux burlaps. I don't know about that stripe over there. Somebody said they'd pay to see me on a zip line. I'm pretty sure I have pictures of me on a zip line when I was in the army, and also rappelling. I used to love. I'm very adventurous. I just don't like not being in control of my own destiny. So. As long as I have my emergency anchor, I'm good. Huh? She's very adventurous. I'm adventurous with that. I know that I would still be. I still have the desire to do it. I, I still have the desire to do that. This comes from the person that stayed shocked when we, 
only surprised her in Branson for like I was shocked. That's not like adventure. Ten minutes. That was out of my control, and I didn't like that. Not. No, it was an adventure. Don't let her fool y'all. <laughs> hey, you guys. Tornado. Flower Festival was in April when they went. A zip line isn't scary, but a plane is. Oh, now listen. I don't want a zip line across the Grand Canyon. That's I'm talking about like zip lining across Fremont Street in Vegas. Another Tammy wants a zip line. I've done it once and it was enough for me. Do you have a patriotic kit? She's new. I do not think we have a patriotic kit, but we do have a lot of patriotic supplies at decoexchange.com. Right. There's ribbon, signs, mesh. Lisa said July 14th to November 19th is Food and Wine Festival. That's a long festival. When is it? July 14th through November 19th. That's a really long festival. I thought, like, most of them were just six weeks. Yeah, it, that's a long... Lots of people are saying that. We went in October because we caught uh, Halloween and the Food and Wine Festival at the same time. And another pipe thing. Pamela said that she did zip lines on a cruise. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, no, I wouldn't do that either. That's, no, nope, nope. Because those big ships do not stop, and nobody is ever found alive when they go overboard. Like, they're never found. So, what do you I say? I did see that. I zero think... of zero, do not recommend. I did see read something about that the other day, that the ocean has the most, the most dead, dead bodies, bodies in I, it. Yeah. Zero out of ten, do not recommend that. I also that won't is... do the water slides on a cruise. Zero mm -hmm. stars do not mm -hmm. recommend mm -hmm. abort mission. Clarice said that she's been out of the military for about 30 years in an obstacle course race a couple of weeks ago. Ooh. Celeste zipline in Costa Rica. Oh, that would be cool to do it over the rainforest jungle. Is that what you did? I just would be afraid of the snakes. That would be my... It's not anaconda. They're not going to jump up on the zipline and get you. What if it is? What if... I'm just thinking of what if the failure happens. Well, the what um, ifs. You know, what if? Listen, if the failure happens and you fall off the zip line, the anaconda ain't your worst enemy. Just saying. I mean, the insurance company will be your family's best friend. Beth wants to bungee jump. No, no. way. That just seems like a really hard jerk at the end. <laughs> if God intended me to do that, he'd have made me a rubber band. No, thank you. I saw that scene in Selena. I was like, nope. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Not happening. Ooh, that's a thought. Somebody said Bin Laden's body is in the ocean. Oh. You want to talk about. really not. It's long gone by now. You want to talk about a new adventure? Want to talk about new adventure you're thinking of? You want to talk about a new adventure that I'm thinking of? Julie Bishop, we got to clear that up. What? Yeah, I don't. The only adventure Jordan wants to go on is a beach adventure. That's it. Just be on the beach. Do we have the long pipe cleaners? I don't think they're in stock right now, um, but they are on the way. They said, what if is going to be on Tammy's headstone? It's not. She didn't put on her seatbelt. Should have done it. What if you fall into a Should pack of monkeys? Extender. That'd be okay. Have you seen seen Anaconda? They hop. Uh, you saw the deadliest snake in Costa Rica while we were eating at an outdoor restaurant. No, thank you. Next. That yeah. is abort mission. Abort yeah, mission. you Negative lost me. 20 stars. She lost yeah. me in outdoors. <laughs> Snake's fun. Yeah, we don't eat outdoors. Makes us sweat. That's not fun. Uh, I mean, unless you want to smell bacon the whole time. I need to me outside. People want to know, are we standing outside or is the tiny house inside? We have some new people here tonight. Welcome, uh, welcome, first of all. Both? We're standing we in a metal building. And the front porch is with this. There's not a whole tiny house. It's a set. It's a prop. But it's really cool. It's a whole house that's the front of a house. Okay. Betty said that she skydived for the first time at 54, and it was awesome, and she would go again. Mm -mm. Nope. Nope. Can't do it. Patricia ordered a box of ribbons. 
Uh, Rose said I bungee jumped twice. One time drunk, one time sober. Second time sober, and I will never do it ever again. Nope. Uh, they want to know if you are taking the train home. Nope. Uh, Mike, Mike and Brittany and the kids are coming to get me because we're going on vacation from here. We're going to Gulf Shores. And it just happened to fall it back really, to back. It really did. We planned it on purpose. You guys right. don't get it. We really did. I wasn't going to go home when I've been gone already, so I may as well do it. Can I hitch a ride with you? No. Yeah, you want to go? Why not? <laughs> got to find room for you. <laughs> <laughs> We've got Brittany's truck. You can tie me to the roof. I'm fine. You can. Gorgeous. Can. Jordan, as always. Okay. That sign is, like, perfect in there. Yeah. We're going to have to send a picture and send it to Tracy. Y'all, so you will learn how to make this as one of the bonuses for the workshop. Celeste thought it was a uh, boa constrictor, so she sent her husband over to get a better picture of it. Oh, my word. Nope, that is a abort mission. First of all, I wouldn't want a picture. I'd just be out. Love the big bow. Wreath is beautiful. Thanks, y'all. Vanessa saying, what's up? Vanessa, you're late. He's done. Oh, my gosh. Hot air balloon. Mel, Mel has been in a hot air balloon. But she won't take a cruise. Okay, wait a minute. Melanie said that she went in a hot air balloon at 99 years old. Not happening. That her grandmother went in a... Oh, no. Uh-uh. Mm-mm. When will you be getting a shipment of 60919? Sandy also went up in a hot air balloon. 6019, 60919 will probably be here in August. That's our best guest. And I've already bought it all, y'all. Sorry. Derek just had a Gulf Shores a beach walk. August. Yes, Derek. That's what I I need. My my leg need to be tanned. My feet actually need to be tanned. That's awesome. Wreath is gorgeous. Are all the friends here yet? Not yet, but Not they're coming. Yet. Mel and Jackie both have babies in school. They both have children that are school-aged. So they need to be able to stay one extra day and get their babies off. Because they're going to be gone from Wednesday until Sunday. So, Jackie and Mel will be in tomorrow afternoon. Mel will be here tomorrow morning. Yeah. Jackie will be here tomorrow afternoon after her babies get off the bus. Yep. And then Derricka is on her way, hopefully right now. Toot toot. And then Marcus will be here tomorrow afternoon. Yep. We were able, Jordan and I had a little bit of a more free schedule. So, I was able to fly home from the Mastermind with Damon and Parker it made more sense. I was going to be home for less than 40 hours, and I was not paying another another plane fare with it, a non-direct flight. She was not worried about the plane fare. No, she I, was worried about the plane ride. It was the direct flight. I wasn't... Fly- Listen, I'm very open about that. I'm not going somewhere no more where there's not a direct flight. So, that's what I did. It Jordan, did you play with this today? Fly here. Huh? Did you play with this no, today? No, I didn't, but I really, really want to. But it's really, really heavy. Did you hold that up? Three. Yeah. Look at that. You love when we're all together? Us too. Do we need a coupon code if you're a member? If you're already a Creative Coaching member, y'all. What am I going to staple? All you have to do is log into the Makers University. And then once you log in, you're going to see tabs at the top. It says Business Creative. Click on Creative. On? How do you know it's At on? the bottom, yeah, you're going to scroll on. down, and it's going to have so the, green light the Backyard Barbecue Workshop. That's where you need to sign up. Oh, Isn't that cool? Oh, oh, I the same thing. That's fun, isn't it? I really... Yeah. Well, that adds to cart. Add to cart. That I is, really want that. That's it's like so good. So much and easier. it doesn't staple to the front. No. Isn't that cool? Like, at all. I did that yesterday. I was like, what? John went on the Superman ride at Six Flags and screamed the whole time and then slapped her son for making her go on it. Yep, that was the ride that Brittany said she would never ride again. And she is a roller coaster enthusiast. My daughter got off that ride and she said never again. Yay, Melissa Lynn, we're going to be so excited to have you. Carol said, I can see the headline now. Fat lady falls through a hot air balloon basket. That wouldn't be my worry. (laughs) mm -hmm, Nope. I, nope. I would be. I would never get off the ground. If I get in a hot air balloon, it's gonna be one of those that are tethered, like in the Wizard of Oz. Like, get me 25 feet in the air and I'm good. You let go of that tether, I'm out. <laughs> I will jump up, overboard. Up and away. I will. I'll so be jumping over the side. So, Chalmette has a hot air balloon festival. 
Do they really? Yeah. Here? We have one in Ozark, too. I think that's so weird. Y'all, if you haven't joined yet, you can check out Backyard Barbecue Workshop, and that's BBQ. Uh, workshop.com to hang out with us this weekend. Yes. Uh, I keep hearing about Tammy making his deviled eggs. Uh, everybody needs to cook. Jordan said he was going to... No, no. I'm bringing the paper plates. He was bringing the paper Jordan plates, but... doesn't know how to cook. So maybe... We're going to cook. We're going to teach Jordan how to cook. And Melissa. Melissa also said... Oh, 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 listen, I, I can only take on one case at a time. Well, me and Jackie and Dana can I got deviled eggs. I I've seen your there. food choices. I don't know. Do you like deviled eggs? I can make No. Them. What uh, What do well, you put in your deviled doing, eggs? Uh, the egg. If you want sweet relish, I can, but if not, I don't. Kathy, come save me. And then I'm about to I'm start not going to tell you the rest. I just want you to take. It's going to be mayonnaise, a little bit of mustard. She uses miracle whip. No, I don't for I I don't for my I won't for my uh, Kathy, deviled come eggs. get me. It'll be mayonnaise. <laughs> Y'all. So when we first got to Kill Devil Hill, all the restaurants were closed. So Tammy came to save the day. Because I'm a sandwich person. And she had sandwich meat. So I made my sandwich, I took a bite, and it was dessert. So good. Miracle Whip is so sweet. It's so good. I like Mustard, mayonnaise, 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 Wonder Bread, and turkey breast with a slice of Colby cheese. Mm. Rock my face off. Yummy. Listen, it was I'm good. About, yeah, I'm Nicole said it's going to be her first good. workshop. Uh, Derek has said she's going to bring canned chicken. No, no. You are not. No. Derek. Anything that can... If it says chicken and it stays on a shelf for more than... Y'all, I'm starving to death this week. That's it. That's, That's it. I'm done for. That's just Nicole Churchill, welcome to your first workshop. It's going to be fun. It's going to be an adventure. It will be a learning experience. We're going to have some really cool things going on. And our bonuses this time, I'm really proud of them. There's a lot of them. Damon gathered the bonuses. I was pretty impressed with them. I met and some of the gals at Mastermind that made them, and I'm so looking forward to learning from them. Summer said today that she could show us how to make a cookie. Don't a cookie. you threaten me with a good time, Summer. Cookie. Are you on here? Summer is a... Uh, cookie artist she is like real cookies like yeah. she's really good at it they look like they're so good they're good yuck miracle whip lori that chicken is good what the heck listen we yeah. were starving though so we choked it down mayonnaise craig mm -hmm. was like that was the hardest sandwich i ever ate <laughs> <laughs> but he said i wasn't gonna turn it down it's the only thing we had how do you not just don't eat the miracle whip i love miracle whip with wonder bread Melanie said that she's from Colby, where that cheese was created. Oh, wow. I'm real picky about my sandwiches. It's got I like Colby cheese, I like Miracle Whip, and it's got to be she's French's picky mustard. About her sandwiches. I am. But this woman eat peanut butter sandwich with chili. Yes. Okay, hold on. We have 859 people. I need a vote right now. Who has ever dipped not peanut butter and jelly, peanut butter sandwiches in your chili? Who's done it? Y'all let us know if that is fact or crap. It's a fact. Especially in the schools. I learned to do it because my school served it. They would serve Your school you. was like, what do we feed all these kids? We don't have any money. Oh, no, yeah. it wasn't. Yeah. We had the best cooks Bread ever. Bread and peanut butter and chili. No, no. Okay, look at all the oh, thumbs look, up. Oh, look, someone said gag already. Someone is just sitting there hitting the same thumb. No, you guys, yes or no on the peanut butter sandwich dipped in the chili. Amy Ward says she's with me. Some, uh, she also puts cinnamon rolls. Yeah. I don't cinnamon rolls. Cinnamon rolls with chili, but I don't dip it with chili. It was just a side. We, we knew that on chili day at school, we would have chili, a peanut butter sandwich, and the cinnamon roll would be our dessert. Everybody. It's so good. You guys don't understand. They're still talking about Hellman's and Miracle Whip. Y'all got to catch up. We're on the chili and the beef. Someone said no. It's so good. Uh, Kathy, yeah, you can watch the replays of the challenge. Peanut butter and bacon? Ooh, yeah. No. Chrissy said never heard of it. No. Susan's still thrown up about Miracle Whip. Y'all are missing out. Debbie said peanut butter and honey with her chili. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. You don't no. dip the peanut butter. You dip the peanut butter sandwich. I mean, that's dipping peanut, peanut butter. butter. I, people always think it's a blob of peanut butter. It's not. Y'all are missing out. Someone yep. puts popcorn Linda Spearman. in chili. Linda Spearman learned it from school too, and she does the same thing. Linda Spearman. Marsha I McCurdy. love you, yes, my friend. Yes, dip it in chili. 
Kathy said she puts popcorn in her chili. Nope, not doing that. Linda Spearman, we're going back to this. Faye Bradley, yes on the peanut butter and chili. Nicole said chili and cornbread. Now you're now, speaking. There you go. Robin Sims, yes. Janet said sorry, but no. Who are the mad faces? The people who had to eat chili and, and peanut no, butter when they were No, the mad kids. faces would be Angie Bennett with the salmon rolls and chili. Oh. Can't do it. Can't Have do it. Have y'all ever heard of tacos? Tacos? <laughs> Enchiladas. <laughs> rice, beans, tortillas. <laughs> I'm, t- I'm just wondering. <laughs> Beef tacos, chicken tacos, <laughs> shrimp tacos. Mexican pizza. Fish tacos. Uh. Oh, gosh. Uh, no. Fish tacos? You eat that? No, I don't. Oh. No. But I see it on the menu. Peanut oh, butter tacos. and onion. Learned it. Oh. Movie Little Monsters actually not bad. Okay, here's what you need Fairly to do: lame. throw Definitely. all that away and just make you a grilled cheese with a slice of tomato in there. Oh, that was good. That was That's good. good. That's I had board. that today. That's for an abort mission. One star. Do no, not recommend. No, it was good. Damon gave me half his grilled cheese at lunch, yeah. and I was like, I don't like tomato, and he's like, No, it turns like soft and sweet. Mm-mm. It is yummy. It's good. I will do that again. Uh-uh. Christina Reynolds. You know how we get into these discussions. It's the same thing with chicken and noodles and mashed potatoes. <laughs> Delaney said we need to pray for these peanut butter <laughs> sandwiches <laughs> chili people. We need to pray yeah. for their indigestion for sure. I don't eat chili, so it's a no for me. Yes, chili and, and rice. rice. I've oh, heard yeah. of that. No, I can't do it's that. It's going to be a no for me. That's a military thing. They do chili, chili and, and rice. cornbread for sure. I've never heard of chili and rice. Live video interrupted. That's rude. That was rude. They were like, no peanut butter and chili. It's because all the mad faces. They all right, got we're us. back. I'm telling y'all, tacos. Oh my gosh, you guys. We are going to have so much fun this weekend. We Soft are. Soft tacos, crunchy tacos, fried tacos. Can we so just. Fun Grilled cheese with jalapenos. Yep, can we just no. have the cinnamon roll without the chili and peanut butter? Mm. Yes, the grilled cheese and tomatoes. It is so good. Robin Sims says, I think that's another Midwest thing, kind of like our noodles or dumplings on top of mashed potatoes. Robin, I agree, friend. I feel like they were just... Have y'all heard of Papacitos? Hey, it's Friday, and we have all these <laughs> leftovers. Let's put them on one plate. <laughs> no, it's so yummy. Ew, lime jello salad? See, I couldn't do that. Who said that? Is that Linda? That sounds like uh, Watergate stuff. Maybe. I don't like water. Was that Linda Spearman? I just sent an angry face on accident. <laughs> Good job, The Tammy. lime jello <laughs> salad. Yes, <laughs> I have eaten that. It's delicious. I love it. What is it? Probably comes probably out of a cookbook from the 1950s. What is it? It's delicious, the, not, the lime jello salad. Oh, I've never had that. It's lime, lemon and lime jello. Tarina cottage said. Cottage cheese, pineapple, pecans. Nope. Damon won't nope. eat it because it has pecans. Yeah, oh, no, I was cottage cheese mixed with jello and mayonnaise that sounds like something on national lampoon's vacation nope. that's actually really good tarina said her kids eat mac and cheese with chili i could see that i wouldn't want to eat it but i could see people doing that i mean it's just pasta and chili and cheese have we heard of fried chicken and mashed potatoes y'all <laughs> well this weekend we're gonna have some barbecue something or other it may even just be hot dogs on a grill we gotta find the grill it may be a pan on stove but we are going to have some barbecue sides somehow, some way. I can make rice dressing. That's how barbecue food, but he had me at hello. <laughs> barbecue food, rice dressing is barbecue food. What? We make rice dressing, barbecue, chicken, sausage, beef, baked beans, potatoes. I'm from Texas, you okay. know, so the All words right. barbecue mean well, totally do rice different. So good. All right, y'all. Okay. Let's see what Tammy really knows. Oh, God. <laughs> Just do you eat barbecue? Do I eat barbecue? Do, have you ever barbecued? Like on the grill? Yeah. Yeah. How do you do it? Just on the, like, the Blackstone is what I do it sure. on. Well, if I, bar- what, what am I barbecuing? Chicken. Oh, uh, I don't like doing the chicken because it always burns. But I will tell you something I learned in the Army. I boil my chicken ahead, and then I put it on there because you get it really done. If not, it burns. Of the high temperature. If you want really good chicken, boil the chicken till it's done, put it on the grill, and get it 
See? That's correct. I was taught right that there. in the army. I've heard of restaurants. I did not know that before then. So you boil it until the meat starts coming off the bone yes. a little bit, and then you cook it on the grill. And you put your barbecue sauce on. It's that's how you do it. That way nobody um, gets raw chicken, and you again. don't burn the chicken. Y'all ever heard of restaurants? No, it's so much fun. I like my Blackstone, so I use it a lot to do. Evelyn stuff. wants a shrimp taco bowl. Is that just a shrimp salad? Shrimp taco <laughs> bowl? How much is a plane ticket for this picnic? Friend, we wish it could be in person. Spaghetti but it's with chili? This time. Wait, who was. Wasn't there one with sausage with their chili and spaghetti? Like spaghetti chili, I saw the picture somewhere. Uh, no, you know who does that? We saw steak that. Steak and someone, shake. Someone posted on Facebook but that. Steak, yeah, steak and, and we're shake. having chili with pasta. Steak and shake does that. They call it chili mac, and it's nauseating. I mean, it's steak and shake. Mm. What do you expect? Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Barbecue ribs. The same with ribs. Yes. See. Yep. So, so less, North Carolina, so I, less, learned, I'm I coming learned barbecue over. chicken in North Carolina. Y'all put guacamole with your barbecue? No, thank you. Um, we're from Texas, and you get guac with your fajitas. I agree with and that. And Mexican food. But I'm Mexican. Cooper's so barbecue? Can... Cooper's barbecue. I haven't tried Cooper's, but I do love a good barbecue joint. Like I think barbecue, pie. I think like brisket, ribs, smoked turkey, sausage, potato salad, and banana pudding. Stephanie that. Brown, uh, you can bring that smoked brisket for sure. <laughs> I love a good smoked brisket. But it's gotta be good. It's either like it's gotta leather be good. or it's good. Yeah. Okay, y'all. I think we haven't talked to him about food. I know, now we're going to try and find a Taco Bell. <laughs> Linda says, chili, I serve spaghetti on the side. What? Mm-hmm. what? Can't do it. Linda, we're seeing each other in October. I'm going to introduce you to Papacitos. <laughs> Linda, I will not see you in October because Amy scheduled her event the same time as my mastermind. I know. So I much like friends. <laughs> so we have so, a birthday too. Won't so see it. So. All right, y'all uh, have Cooper's a good night. Cooper's injunction, yes, is good. Yeah, I've had that one. If you guys haven't signed up yet, you can join us at backyardbbqworkshop.com, and uh, I'm sure we'll see you guys tomorrow. For now, we're gonna go find Tammy and Mexican pizza. I think Mel just joined us. Mel, well, where have you been? For sure, we'll be live at 11 o'clock tomorrow on YouTube, y'all. Video interrupted. Red. Oh, Yo. look at that. It's reading like a really loud noise. Bizarre. I wonder if it's really loud for them. Y'all, if it's freaking out, I don't know. Anyways, 